Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Glazed. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we stopped Team Fusion once and for all, or at least I hope we did. In today's episode, we're actually going to make our way to the next town and go after our eighth and final gym badge. Once again, thank you guys for all your tips and your comments. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps the series. So let's go ahead and actually get to surfing. Now, if you guys remember... We just obtained the HM dive, so we know that we have to head towards this area. Now, this is an area that we previously explored before, but we didn't look into too much because there wasn't a whole lot we could do until now. As you guys can see, we are at a bit of a crossroads here, so we're going to have to go ahead and teach one of our Pokemon dive, and the only Pokemon that can learn it is actually going to be Gilligan. So I'll go ahead and teach it to Gilligan now. As I said to you guys, you know, these aren't the final move sets, so I will be changing them up a little bit. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of ice beam the good thing is we have the tm for ice beam so it's not too difficult to swap in different moves with that guys we are gonna go ahead and dive in so let's make our way to the bottom of the ocean and i'm actually really excited for this look how awesome that is this is so cool getting to swim around this is really really sweet we're in the tuna sea floor and this is actually something that I haven't really seen before. This actually looks quite different from other areas you can dive into. So it's actually really cool. I love when you get to see these little areas that are like custom made. And that looks so much different from everything else. We're going to have a battle. Okay, so we definitely are going to have a couple battles coming up. And it looks like we're going to have another one. Okay, there we have it, guys. You know what's really awesome is the fact that you can explore these underwater caves. Now, this is something that I've always wanted to do. I don't know what it is. I told you guys before that I have this fascination with, like, cryptozoology and mythical creatures and the Loch Ness Monster and these sorts of things because it's something that I want to believe that's out there, you know? A little bit of magic in the world. And one of the things I really like is that they say, like, in Loch Ness, one of the places, you know, Nessie could be hiding is, you know, deep into some underwater caves. You'd have to, like, dive in and like surface up and look around and i think it would be really cool to actually explore that imagine that if we could take these little pokemon moves and actually get to explore our real world how cool that would be i would love to just go ahead and dive everywhere and explore these little nooks and crannies that you know nobody's explored before that would be so much fun let's go ahead and keep going through here though i'm actually not even sure if there are pokemon here so if you guys are looking for some maybe there are some here on the sea floor that you can't find elsewhere but for now i think we're okay i actually really really like when we get the chance to go underwater i have to say it's one of my favorite areas in the game when you just get to relax a little bit and you know just swim around with that though guys it looks like let me go ahead and actually pick this up that's gonna be a full restore so it's like giving us a heads up that we're gonna have a couple tough battles coming up but we're gonna go ahead and take on this karate guy because it looks like that's all there is around here so let me go ahead and actually put one of our pokemon up in front and now let's go ahead and take him on So that was pretty simple. There we have it. We are very close to the exit, I believe. Who's this guy? No ordinary trainer. Well, we're probably gonna have to battle him, so let's go for it. Okay, so it also looks like this guy is going to teach the move Superpower to one of our Pokemon. The only Pokemon that can learn it is Gilligan, surprisingly. I really thought that Lanky was going to be able to learn this move, so I'm kind of surprised about that. I'm going to go ahead and teach it, though, because we might as well. It's 120 power, so that's a lot stronger than Takedown. That definitely will be a very good move for Gilligan to have because it'll definitely give us a little bit of variety. With that, though, guys, it looks like we have learned that move. My trainer learned how to teach Pokemon the move Superpower, but I can't learn it. Neither can half of our Pokemon. What is going on here? Why can't they learn that move? I would have loved to teach that to Lanky. With that though, guys, let's put Gilligan up in front and let's take on this guy. Easy does it. All right, another battle. Okay, that was pretty simple. So I believe we are at the exit, which I'm actually kind of surprised. This was a very, very 
quick little cave to make our way through. With that, we found a black belt as well. I guess we'll have to give that to either Gilligan or Lanky. We really need to teach a fighting type move to Lanky though, so hopefully we'll pick that up soon. With that, guys, we have arrived in Darkwood Town. Very cool. So I'm really happy we are finally here in the last town. Hey, Nurse Joy, how's it going? You like my seven badges? Oh, there's, there's people here with eight badges. <clears throat> well, I, you know, I'm going to be heading there. And, uh, you know, yeah, my battle scheduled in a little bit. I'm going to, yep, come back later. All right, see you later, Nurse Joy. With that, guys, let's go ahead and find the gym then. Tyson, the gym leader, is such a hunk. Oh, that 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 is very intimidating. Cameron's Dojo. At the dojo, they try and help people train their Pokemon. Why don't you try it? I think our Pokemon are trained up enough. And with that, guys, it looks like our boy Percy's actually going to be here. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Rodri, I should have known you'd be the last of us to get here. I was hoping I might get to battle you. Are you ready to battle? Woohoo, let's go! Come on, let's battle! You won't be able to beat me that easily! Here we go, Rodri versus Percy! Let's go ahead and take on our good old rival Percy then. And let's see how much his Pokemon have actually leveled up. Of course they would put this battle before we make our way in the gym. Just to make things a little bit more difficult on us. But regardless, our team is so strong and I'm feeling so good about it. Let's actually try out this superpower move. I kind of just want to see it. Although I know it won't do too much to the Gardevoir. It looks really cool. Let, you know, that it looks awesome. I mean, if we got 120 power move, we're going to use it once in a while. I'm actually going to go for the Earthquake, though, because we should be able to completely just dominate this guy's team. We should just be able to KO all his Pokemon with Earthquake, or at least I'm hoping so. It is also going to be a Fighting-type gym, so thanks to you guys for that. I'm actually really excited for it. I love when the gyms are, you know, something that we haven't really seen before. Seeing a Fighting-type gym as the 8th gym is definitely something a little bit different. I think Fighting-types are definitely a bit underrated at times, so it's kind of cool to see that. Let's go for the Thunderbolt, though. That should one hit KO the Seedra. You know what? Our Pokemon are really, really well balanced. That's something that I've been thinking a lot about is that we just built a really good team. I really like the way our team came out. I feel like we have everything pretty much countered and I think it's going to be really, really good going into the Elite Four. Now, I know that we still have Victory Road coming up. We still have a lot of stuff to go through, but I'm actually really excited to finally get to the Elite Four and, you know, see what it's all about. So, you know, you guys get pumped for that one because I'm super excited for it myself. I don't think we'll need much more training too. Since all of our Pokemon are around level 45, I think we're going to be pretty much good to go once we make our way through Victory Road. I think we will be able to just jump right in and hopefully, you know, fight the champion for uh, the championship belt. That would be really, really cool. Hopefully, Blake won't lose his championship before we get there. I don't know. That guy seems to be all over the place. With that, the poor little Kulava. Why hasn't he evolved that into a Typhlosion? Why is Percy holding that little Kulava back? I was thinking for a second, you know, why have they not gone ahead and just evolved that Pokemon Maybe it's because he likes having his Kulava around. I don't know. Maybe he's pulling a whole Ash and Pikachu thing here where he doesn't want the Kulava to evolve. You know, it's a, it's his choice, I guess. Let him do his thing. Let him train up his Pokemon. If I was him, I definitely would have evolved that Kulava, though. I mean, the Typhlosion is such an amazing Pokemon. You're definitely going to want that on your team. Now, with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and take down the Scraggy. There we have it. A crit. Like, we even needed to hit a crit there with a level 50 Salamance. All right, guys, with that, we gained a bunch of XP, and we defeated Pokemon Trainer Percy. All that training you did really paid off, didn't it? We got 1,600 for winning. All right, you won this time, but I still have eight badges, and you only have seven. Why does everybody keep telling me that? I'm about to get my eighth badge. Cut me a break here. I was sitting here saving the world and Earth 2 and all these different things, and I was battling these legendaries, and I was saving, you know, all of the donut region. So why doesn't everybody cut me a break here? With that, though, guys, oh, if you throw a coin in the fountain... It'll grant you a wish. That's actually kind of cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe it'll actually allow me to throw a coin in here. That is so cool. So we're going to go ahead and make a wish, guys. And you know what? You guys go ahead and make a wish as well. I think there's been a lot of trouble going on lately in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and just wish for a little something that I think the world could use. So let's just go ahead and put in peace because I think that's always something good to wish for. With that, though, guys... It seems like that's about it here. The only other thing that we can do in this place is take on the gym. Darkwood Town, where you enter as a trainer and leave as a fighter. I actually like that. That's a really cool quote for the city. I really, really like that. With that, though, guys, we're going to head inside of Darkwood Town's gym. Take on its leader, Tyson, the toughest of Tunid. So let's go ahead and make our way inside. All right, how's it going? Welcome to the final obstacle to the Tunid League. Tyson trains with the fighting type. I don't need to tell you how to take care of them, right? What, dude? You, you could give me a tip? 
you could, you know, let me know a little bit. Maybe you could, you could help your boy out. You know, if you've seen us at every gym. With that, though, guys, it looks like this is going to be a direct shot to the gym leader. So, very cool. If you want to train up, you might be able to take on the guys on the treadmill. But I think we're good. Huh, you made it all the way here. Not bad at all. But I'm in a league on my own. I hope you're ready to face the toughest gym leader in Tunit. Because you're about to battle him. Here we go. Rodri versus Tyson. So, let's go ahead and take on the strongest gym leader of the donut region. You know this guy has been eating some donuts. With that, he's going to send out a Hitmonlee. And this battle is on its way, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to fight for our eighth and final badge. Let's hope that the earthquake, you know kind of works that's pretty much what i'm gonna do is just spam oh my goodness this guy is gonna hit me back with an earthquake come on cheeky you got this you got it. oh oh whoa two hp two hp i'll take it with that cheeky has gone ahead and defeated the hitmon lee with two hp the two hp queen here cheeky good job cheeky there we have it i'm actually gonna go ahead and switch out now because i don't want to risk too much let's go ahead and send out lanky against the Gallade. i think that'll be a, a good little fun matchup you know, sometimes I know I might not send out the right Pokemon, but sometimes I just like sending out a Pokemon that is going to make the battle a bunch of fun, and that's what I kind of do. You know, you just got to send out Pokemon that you're going to have a blast with and just go for it. That's what it's all about. Wow, I'm actually surprised that we did that much. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to take down this Gallade. All right, let's see what this guy's all about. I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. That should power us up a little bit. Let, let's see what this, this guy's got. Let's see what the Gallade's going to pull out. I got to say, Gallade's a really, really good Pokemon. That's actually going to be super effective on us. So let's go ahead and hope we can tank it. We're all good. That didn't do too much. Let's go for the Flame Wheel. Let's hope for a crit or a one-hit KO. I mean, two-hit KO. That, wow, I'm actually surprised that the Gallade actually survived that. Let's hope we can survive this. All right, you know what? If anything, we'll probably pop a Hyper Potion out of Tyson. And there it is, guys. The Hyper Potion is out. So it wasn't that bad. At least we got this going so far, you know? This is my strategy. Get the Hyper Potions out of the Pokemon before, you know, we send in the real Pokemon to take them down, I guess you could say. And with that, we are going to go down. Of course, Psychic's going to be super effective on us. But at least Lanky got a Hyper Potion out. So that's always a good thing. Let's go ahead and send out Gilligan. And Gilligan, you gotta pull this off. Gilligan, you gotta do this. You gotta go ahead and crush this gym right now. This is your pride on the line, Gilligan. This is it. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Earthquake is like the best move in this whole game. You know, I've been thinking a lot about like what my favorite moves are. And I gotta tell you guys, you know, mine is definitely a fighting type move. And it's that brick, brick, brickety, brickety, brick, 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 brickety, brickety. I gotta tell you, that is the coolest move I have heard. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it kind of pumps me up during fights. But it's just kind of awesome, you know? You got to have a favorite move once in a while. With that, we're going to go ahead and use Earthquake. And the Scrafty is going to go down. So, pretty simple so far, guys. We grew to level 47. I think we're pretty good leveled out right now. I don't think we need to do much more training. A Lucario is going to be coming out, though. So, this should be a very simple one-shot. You know what? Earthquake is just so strong. It can KO like anything. There we have it. Lucario has gone down. And Tyson is down to his final Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and see what it's going to be. A Conkledur. All right, Conkledur probably won't get one shot, but it'll at least put up a bit of a fight. So Mach Punch. All right, we, we can hopefully tank this out. We got this. We got this in the bag, guys. Gilligan's going to crush this. You know what? Gilligan's got this. You know the cool thing is? Conkledur level 46. So I guess we are pretty much caught up in levels with everybody or everybody caught up to us. So you know what? I think we might be good going into the Elite Four. Maybe I won't even have to train our Pokemon up anymore. With that though, guys, the Earthquake's going to take down the Conkledur. And guess what? We gained a bunch of XP and we defeated Leader Tyson. I, I can't believe it. I was the greatest challenge the league had to offer and you beat me without breaking a sweat. I'd be honored to give you my badge. With that, guys, we got 1840 for winning. And we obtain the Clobber Badge. That is the 8th out of 8 badges. Here in the Donut region, no more to go. The Clobber Badge allows you to use a move Waterfall outside of battle. It also lets you gain entrance to the Tuned League. So that's what we needed, guys. We got our entrance into the Tuned League. And I'm actually really excited about that. TM01 contains Focus Punch. Now that's a move that we could probably teach to Lanky. So if you guys think we should, I will. What now? Well, it's time to challenge the Tuned League. Head out west of town and don't stop till you reach the big building with the green roof. I have faith in you, kid. Look, kid, I may be able to lift more than you weigh, but there are other kinds of tough in the world. The trick is to find what you're good at. And I really, really like that, guys. There's definitely 
more than just physical strength in the world. And that's something that I definitely like. Next time, guys, we will continue from this point. Hopefully make our way through Victory Road and arrive at the Pokemon League. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Make sure you give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.